hello guys so in this video we will be talking about the tournament assault now in current stage we will have three big big maps industrial zone twangu isthmus and saimum so currently the replay i'm playing you the battle map will be twangu isthmus for this one okay so first we're going to through the resource collection process now you see there are four flags and also other signs here this shows from here my units are going to come i already captured one flag and i'm now you see the above there are two bars saying to troop preparation so the troops will come once the bars are filled and you can accelerate the filling of this bar if you have collected these two flags currently i have two flags among all these four under my control that means my uh, my bar is feeling faster than his red bar and you can clearly see the blue bar is about to feel okay three flags under my control and I'm going to have the fourth flag too okay now you see as soon as my blue bar has been filled up we got some units and initially we got four assault infantries uh, initially we get light units then uh, we get more bigger kind of units later on. Okay, I'm going to send this one because the red bar has filled up. So we will see what units the red player have got. You see YOLO riflemen, four riflemen and one grenadier. While I have three assault and one heavy assault. So. Confederation got less number of units at the start and it is justifiable because Confederation units are stronger in power Okay, my second wave is now coming so if you accelerate your wave So you'll get units more frequently and your units will become more better because this time I have five infantries So the number of infantries have increased so you see this is the pathway through which the first wave of the infantry are coming and they are going to go through this path and attack enemy base okay so the first wave of infantry is coming and heavy assault is a bit slower he's trying to recapture them he's trying to recapture one flag so he sent some units to disrupt them and on the other hand I met the yellow units just close to my base so the yellow units came from here directly towards my base where the green army came through here and attacking the enemy base so usually the target of these allied units will be attacking the enemy base but if they meet any enemy units uh, that can be both yours or your allies if they meet them on the road then that means they can uh, fight against them but usually the AI will not try clashing with each other. Okay, first wave of infantry repelled. Now this is my third wave and he's just going to get his second wave because I have four flags under my control. That is immensely accelerating my reinforcements. And my reinforcements are getting more and more bigger so it's important for him to intercept as well and i'm showing you what i'm producing hammers cyclones and fire assaults this is what i'm going to produce so he's uh taking control of this flag and it is very important for him so you can see for first six minutes i had control of all the four flags now here the yolo and the green units had a combat a clash between them usually their uh, contact do not happen okay he also captured uh, the two red flags of the left side now all the allied units are the have them having the maxed upgrade of their respective ranks 
So it, uh, regardless what is the amount of upgrade you have, all these units will have max upgrade. Okay, so here we see some real clash between the yellow and green player and when the number of reinforcements will rise, they're definitely very likely to collide with each other because you know their waves will keep on coming very continuously. Okay, now time for me to uh, again claim these two flags. So that I can accelerate the reinforcements furthermore. And I'm seeing that he is producing some fortifications in front of the flag. And allowing these front, uh, fortifications to be built. Meaning that giving up the middle flag. Which I don't want to currently. Okay, he has some armadillos and infantries. Anyway, I'm still retreating. Sending these units to capture this flag and another red uh, army reinforcement, yellow army reinforcement has arrived meeting with my allied units. And my reinforcements are getting more and more bigger in compared to his reinforcements because I had my uh, those flags under my control most of the time. So having control of the flag is a must as you know in a soul tournament. However so far we did not see any typhoon or porcupines. He sent some armadillo and grenadiers, uh, lots of them. Okay probably his units are not that much upgraded. Grenadiers are de were destined to lose however those armadillos uh, could have done better. Okay, you see, now handling these number of units is definitely going to be tough because there will be also fire assaults, maxed uh, ranked fire assaults. So these are not going to be an easy task. It's going to take damage. And I'm blocking the way for the new units that is uh, going to come. So his allied units numbers and rates of new waves coming has been depleted and i'm also blocking the pathway for his reinforcements okay so he took a lot of unit losses and also many other buildings loss so that's huge damage and you see he just handled that and another wave just came Okay, even though the allied bot will not use any boost, but their maxed upgrade is really showing how much powerful they are. Okay, another wave attacking his base from the above. And having these units surviving here, just uh, handled one wave already. And now the cyclones, after all these units are gathered all together, then they send the command to attack. And meanwhile, my units has been uh, fighting with some allied YOLO units here and defeated some units that has been larger with a larger number of snipers and other stuffs. But still my reinforcement is comparatively a lot larger, very much larger. You see how much cyclones and hammers, fortress, heavy assaults, fire assaults are here. And also he's being attacked from this side as well. So these are the two locations. So in, in, uh, in case the enemy have more control of flags, I will get attacked from this place and from this place. These two are the entrances from where an attack from the allied can be allied units can be possible okay more reinforcements coming this time one typhoon each time the reinforcements are getting bigger so if, it means that if you can control the flag for uh, like 12 minutes then you'll get a massive reinforcements you'll start getting 
huge reinforcement and that will definitely going to bring the battle in your favor in case of four flag battle and since the new three maps are very large Saimu, Twangu, Ismas and Industrial Zone so Vertex are definitely going to be more useful than it was before you can harass enemy base and also destroy the units that does not have anti-air vehicle support okay so that's all I have to tell about this tournament thank you